Uh, Comedian Architects, as part of McDermott Group, provide full design uh, services right from visualisation, from pl planning stages of social housing right up to full master plans. Um, so we can provide all services of architecture and design. And we also have multidisciplinary multi practices as well and links to other services who can provide building surveying, quantity surveying and the like. So we're, we're a full package essentially of architecture and design. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're here today to speak about the application of building information modelling in housing. So the first slide essentially is on the left hand side. You would see uh, a BIM model that we created for social housing in Glasgow. And on the right hand side is the project just before completion. So you can see how this was visualised before it was built and then the actual built completed project. So building information modelling, which is short for BIM, uh, basically what is it? It is the collaboration of working of all parties involved in the design and construction through the use of 3D CAD models. Now, all design information is exchanged between parties and this is the crucial aspect. So the architecture, building services, building surveying, environmental project management and quantity surveying all combined into one 3D model for the benefit of a project. BIM has managed a managed approach to the collaboration and exploitation information across a project. It's at its heart is a computer generated 3D model containing all graphical and tabular information about the design, construction and operation of the asset. Design information is shared which enables any organization to be able to combine that data with their own in order to make a collective BIM model and to carry out interrogative checks on it. So this is a project we did in Glasgow, and you can see the slice through of each floor. This would be an integrated model, so you'd have your, your full quantity survey, and you'd be able to count the number of bricks, the number of windows, the number of doorknobs, even everything is combined. So you have a full picture before the project's even going to plan or to tendering. So the potential of BIM, BIM has the capability to change every aspect of building and managing homes for the better, all the way from the project's conception right to the life the life cycle right through the life cycle done right bim can save time and money while delivering better quality homes and making residents happier this information can feed directly into asset management systems allowing managers to access data on the lifespan warranty make and model of any aspect of the building to adopt bim you need a collaborative culture and integrated supply chain to get the full benefit of bim you have to have all players involved in the modelling process. So BIM and housing, at the moment there's a, it's slow to embrace but un understandably clients first want to see the benefits of investing time and money. But the wider construction industry is now showcasing what is possible through BIM. Many government projects now requiring full implementation of BIM level 2, that's with all project and asset information, documentation and data being electronic as a minimum. It may not be long before housing clients have a specific BIM requirement, and if government agencies start demanding BIM on new developments, we'll be in pole position. So traditional building plans in three dimensions and the benefits, rather than relying on 2D drawings and printouts, a single digital model can be used by everybody during pre-construction phase. This does away with the toing and froing of documents and information between various parties involved, architects, builders, structural engineers and plumbers and so on. But crucially, the model is just the representation of the building's spatial form. They are also shared, centralised repositories of data on every aspect of its fabric and feature. Col uh, inter interactive collaborative models done right, BIM can save time and money while delivering better quality housing and making residents happier. To adopt BIM, you need a collaborative culture of integrated supply chain. And to get the full benefit of BIM, you have to have all the players involved in the modeling process. So in, the, in a BIM model, the whole interactive process, right down to a window in the 3D model, if you click on a window, window, it gives you its full parameters, the height, the width, the fire rating, the warranties. So the same with a wall, the paint finish, how many coats, its acoustic rating, whether it's timber framed, any information you want. So this information can feed directly into asset management systems, allowing managers to access data on the lifespan, warranty, make and model of any aspect of a building. 
The other advantage of using BIM at the design stage is clash detection to eliminate any site coordination problems. The system features something called clash detection. So if, for example, a gas pipe runs through uh, a steel beam or a boiler flue doesn't necessarily have the right clearance, the model will flag these up long before they become physical nuisances in the physical world. So when you go on site, there is much less issue. The other advantage of using BIM is improving accuracy. So designing the buildings using BIM means fewer expensive corrections to be made on site once the construction has begun. A BIM model allows designers to make sure everything fits and functions correctly, but even if before a spade has went into the ground. BIM models also provide accurate material schedules. Users can calculate the amount needed of everything from bricks to doorknobs in a particular project and the system coordinates these amounts instantly as changes are made to the design. The other thing is cost certainty. Once it, becomes, once it comes to tender, once the design and model has been signed off, you know your measurements are right. Window sizes, door sizes, quantities. On a large housing scheme, this provides much greater cost certainty. The other aspect, which you can actually try out here later on, is virtual reality, interacting with the model. So as an industry, we are just tipping the point of virtual reality becoming a typical visualization tool. Prior to the start of construction, clients and future residents are able to walk through the model themselves using virtual reality goggles, physically walk through a house layout, including the living room, the balcony, the kitchen. Users can engage with the immersive environment they are in. They can change finishings, color schemes, furniture on the spot, and they're able to walk through the space. Seeing these changes helps prospective residents to visualize the perfect setting for their new home. The other benefit of BIM in asset management, BIM can help to manage assets over a full lifetime. The famous saying, how long does it take to fit a light bulb and to change a light bulb? Once changing a light bulb, a job has become something of a byword for managerial inefficiency. BIM can streamline the whole process. Once a complaint comes in, the repairs team can click on the bulb in the BIM model the BIM will tell you all kinds of information about the bulb, the manufacturer, the voltage it is, the tools is needed to change it, all in the click of a button. It can tell you to bring a ladder and an extra set of hands if the bulb's over a stairwell, all of which can save time and money, even more if used as part of a long-term planning rather than reactive repairs. If we know if a particular light bulb has a lifespan of a thousand hours, for example, then we can have a good idea of when it will need changing. We can start looking at asset management as a more preventative measure rather than waiting for something to break. This could possibly have significant savings and the savings would be even greater if this, was working, could, if this working could be used on all built assets and not just new house building. The whole future is having a digital estate to have all buildings available as a BIM model on one platform. Thank you. and benefit of BIM in the future for social housing is that we will be able to hand these BIM models over to asset management and they will be able to, if there is any issue with a building in the future, they'll be able to click on a window, click on a wall and it will tell you where the paint came from, the type of the wall construction, everything right down to you've got another maybe year left in a light bulb. So it really is, in terms of asset management in the future, it's a huge, huge advantage.